Okay. So, blah, 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 I rode my tricycle back over to Bub's house. And this is where it all started. See this little tiny fire? Huh? It's probably 20 feet long, 10 feet wide. I was up at my house, and there was a big vorp noise, almost like lightning, but not. You knew it was electrical, you could tell. So I raced down here, and guess what? There's a fire. And look at the bushes. Look at them all. See the fence? That over there is a cow pasture. This here is McWild. It's exactly the way it would have been. There's an old, my brother's old mobile home, motor, mobile home. 20 feet from it, it would have went up like a box of matches. That, built, that was built in 1959, that old motor, mobile home. My whole family, we, I grew up in that. My mom, my dad, everybody. It's been here for over 50 years. It's been sitting right there. It's about to get destroyed. He's got a new little travel trailer, but see, all oh, look at, look at the brush piles. Look at all this, right next to that thing. Uh -huh. If me and the neighbor guy, neighbor, see, can you see his house way over there? That's the neighbor's house. That's where the ranch house used to be. I used to live over there too, only it was a 130 year old house before they tore it down. Where my ancestors grew up, you know. We've been here for, well, family's been here for 150 years, but somehow and my uncles or my grandfathers or whatever it was, the people that inherited the main ranch part, sold it off, and we don't own it no more. We only own the brush pile up here. But see, there's the tree that fell and knocked down the power line from over there on that box over there. See the box? It ripped. This down tree right here fell down, crossed the fence, knocked the power line down. The power line came down, and it's right there on the ground. You can see it running along the ground. And anyway, it hit this barbed wire fence. And like I said, 400 yards past that tree, past that pole way over there with the transformer on it, and down the hill, it started about a acre and a half brush fire from the electrical wire coming down right here. And everything in between here and there is okay. It traveled down the barbed wire and somehow grounded out in that field down there. I was the first guy down there and the first guy here at this one and I was spraying it with a hose and that big giant power line right there may or may not have been live but it didn't kill me although I hear it very well could have yep I hear it very well could have killed me but it didn't and I was none the wiser about it until the fire guy sh showed up and told me I was a lucky fellow for not having died a flaming, fiery, electrocution death. But I'm standing here, and me and the neighbor guy beat this one out with shovels and a little tiny water hose. It could have got really bad if it had come another three feet. Look, right there is the bottom of the fence. See how tall the grass is right here? Huh? Look at that. Look at that grass over on this side of the fence. Yep, we stopped it right there put it out and then looked up and you could see flint smoke going across the pasture down there and me and the neighbor guy said what the hell's that and we roared down there and sure enough the thing was on fire you know the other video where the fire truck was yeah, that's about an acre and a half anyway this i thought it's a phenomenon that the power line would fall, electrify the barbed wire fence and start a fire 400 yards, quarter mile down the, into the pasture down there. Don't you think that's strange? Huh? I think it's really, really strange. It's got big old trees. But see out there, 
They run cattle. There's cows out there and they ate up all the grass. Over here, we haven't had horses or cattle in a long time, and this is what it would look like over there too, if they let it go. Oh well, that's about it, I'm going back home. <laughs>